What's up, Aries friends? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That is me. I'm so happy to have the Aries gang out there with me. We are going to do a love spread for you guys, a tarot love spread. Usually at this time, I'm hopping in to do um, generals for, for the upcoming month, but it just kind of feels like we need some love messages right now. Uh, despite everything that's going on globally, I do hope this message finds you well. Sending out healthy vibes all around the globe, right? Um, but yeah, if you're at home, maybe doing the whole quarantine thing. I hope so anyway. Uh, let's see if we can at least get you some messages for entertainment value, but hopefully some of these messages actually resonate and... Um, and yeah, do, and do something for you, motivate you, inspire you, illuminate you to something new or confirm something you need to hear. Everything I do in these videos are general, so that means not everything I say will resonate. It's up to you guys to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind. I ask that ultimately you only take away the messages that resonate with you, that serve you in some capacity, that motivate you, inspire you, etc., etc. If something feels strange or foreign, that means it's probably not your energy that I'm tapping into, in which case you can release those messages and go about your day. Give these messages some time to resonate though, not everything will click instantly. Everything else about this video is down in the description box below, so check that out if you're interested. Let's hop in for your reading. All right, so your energy is presenting as, I almost said the Queen of Pentacles. So, I mean, either way it's good, but it's not quite the Queen of Pentacles. She's sort of like, before we get there, this is, this is um, Venus in Virgo. It is um, the Nine of Pentacles. So, someone who leads a very lush, abundant life, if it's not that in terms of money being great right now, it's just recognizing that you're a badass, right? That, that you um, have a lot of self-value, that you have a lot of self-worth. Um, yeah, it's, I said something similar to, I don't remember what sign it was, but you're not jumping at just anything that passes you by. You're waiting for like a good offer. You're waiting for a solid offer. That being said, this is kind of my single ladies card. She's the self-made woman, the self-made man, you know, whatever gender you associate with. Um, so yeah, for, for a lot of my Aries, you may kind of be in singlehood right now and that's cool. Let's see what you can get, uh, in, in this tarot reading here. So where are you at mentally? Love it. Wheel of fortune. You're optimistic. You understand that times are changing, um, that, that new things are trying to come into you, that blessings are being ushered your, your way. Um, mentally, you may be thinking about a fixed zodiac sign, um, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or a Leo, though it doesn't have to be. It could be multiple signs that you're thinking of. And I actually am sort of getting, yeah, something about the scenario of... Uh, I don't know what game it would be in Vegas. I don't, I'm not familiar with like the names, but when the little ball like hops around the circle and it lands on a certain number, I didn't, maybe some of you live in Vegas or you've recently been to a casino or something, but I think that has to do with, um, you're waiting to see what, what, what it lands on. So there may be multiple people that are like kind of flirting with you or communicating with you, but you're kind of waiting to see what their intentions are. I don't think you're, um, I don't think you're like dropping your lifestyle or anything to, to go and, and meet up with people per se. You're, you're, you're feeling people out. You're feeling the vibe. And I think with that whole metaphor of like the casino, you're not just rolling the dice on people and be like, well, let's try this. We'll see how, like you're, you're being a little bit more strategic. You are holding back is sort of what I'm getting, but mentally you're quite optimistic. And I do want to say there's a lot of people you're thinking about. You, um, in one in particular, maybe a Scorpio, you may actually be very fond of and communicating with the most. And yeah, like there's one potential or there's one candidate, if you will, that you're more excited to expand with. It could also be a Sagittarius. So emotionally, where are my Aries at? All right, yeah, you're looking for the real deal. You're looking for a commitment. None of this like uh, flip floppy, flaky, whatever, like non-committal energy. You're, you're looking for someone who sees you as like the leader, as the center of their world. Someone who is the leader, someone who is take charge. Um, it could be a Taurus that emotionally you've caught some feels for. They are one of the ones on the... On the um, of the fixed zodiac sign, so it could confirm du double Taurus energy there. Let's throw, let's throw something on it, right? <clears throat> could be someone quite spiritual that you're interested in, or just emotionally you're holding out for that person who could offer you marriage down the road. It's frequently a card of marriage. Yeah, so some of you may be, um, okay, so for those of you who are already dating, but you're not necessarily married yet, it could be that the, the wheel is turning in your favor towards marriage. Uh, if, you, if you have someone who you, who you feel like rock solid with, but you're not necessarily together together, yeah, like it could be that the, the fortune or the wheel is turning in your favor to, to bring in the blessing of marriage. That's not for everyone, right? But for some of you particularly, if you're an Aries Taurus cusper, or again, if you're dealing with a Taurus, 
What is the hero fin about? You may be exchanging keys to each other's apartment to like bring it to the next level. Yeah, someone may offer some sort of communication to you. They're, this person is looking at you, I want to be clear. Um, in admiration, they look up to you. They really see you as like a powerhouse uh, Aries, which that's fantastic. That's amazing. Um, so they may offer some sort of communication to you about being more exclusive or again about potentially putting a ring on it. It's being clarified by the page of flamingos, which is the page of swords. That not, that I mean, that is um, a messenger of communication, communication to commit. But I don't know. I feel like if it was really like all the bells and whistles of marriage and the proposal, we might get something else a little bit more substantial. Let's throw another one on it. But it feels good. It could also indicate that if you're interested in, in, in one of those zodiac signs that um, I mentioned earlier, though it doesn't really matter what sign it is, you definitely have eyes on you. People like spying, people checking, you up on, uh, checking up on you on social media, seeing what you're up to. Um, particularly if you guys are giving a speech or going to present something in front of a group or an audience, if you do like um, shows or plays or uh, stand-up comedy or something, like they, they might go and see your show and yeah, they might show up there and actually surprise you. And especially with the Wheel of Fortune, it's fortuitous, but you don't necessarily see it coming. So it would be good, but it would be someone like showing up to, to see your whatever, your performance. And, you know, they catch you in the lobby and they're just like, oh, hey, Aries, how's it going? You're like, oh, uh, hey, what are you doing here? Like, it surprises you. It's because they're interested in you. It could be an air sign, though it doesn't have to be. <clears throat> Judgment and... Okay, and um, justice. Judgment and justice. I feel like you could be, it actually, something about the way I said that, the, the, the way it sounded, you could be the name, J, or I'm sorry. Well, yeah, the name J, but a name that starts with a J, justice maybe, or Justin, or, yeah, something about judgment and justice. I don't, I don't know if J and J, do you both have names that start with the letter J? I don't know why that message is coming up, but it is. Anyway, you have another card of Libra here that could be indicative of a Libra that is interested in you. Um, or it's something about you've knocked them off their feet. You've swept them off your feet. And I don't even think you've done all that much with them, but they're enamored by you. Um, it's something about you feel like home to them. They, they want to like cuddle up next to you. They, they love the warmth that you offer and being a fire sign Aries, that makes total sense. You have a very nurturing, kind personality. Um, yeah, it's, it's almost like you flip them upside down, you flip them on their head because it's like you weren't in their life and all of a sudden you were and now they're fixated on you. They, that's all they can think about. I'm not getting that it's like an unhealthy vibe, but yeah, it's, you are distracting them. Like even when they're at work and they have shit to get done, they find themselves always um, wanting to call you or text you or again, check on you on social media. You, you're on their mind a lot. Emotionally, you are within their heart space. Interesting. So then where are you at in terms of action? Yeah, you're not, you're not sure yet. You have multiple candidates is what I mean. Like you're feeding multiple mouths. You may have two children that are, you know, the love and joys of your life. And so like primarily you're putting like your parent uh, or your duties as a parent or whatever, right? A guardian, you know, that's sort of your, your main responsibility, though it doesn't have to be. If it's not representing uh, multiple people you're giving to in terms of just like the family or the wider network, you may be going on dates with two different people, but again, nothing has been solidified in terms of commitment yet. It's not like you're exclusive with one, but then you're, you're you know, cheating or it's not like that. It's very much like you meet someone for coffee, you meet someone for a drink. And again, you're holding that scale. There's, there's something you're still weighing out. You're not sure about, you're not sure about who you want to choose. I do think there's a Libra in your life that is as particularly excited about you, but that Libra feels like you're not going to choose them. Your Libra might know that you're kind of a hot commodity because you are. With this card coming up, like you got a lot going for you and people like it. People are, are very much into you. With this though, I, particularly the Libra in your life, they're, they're lacking self-confidence. They don't think that you see them. I want to clarify this judgment card. There could also be someone from the past that keeps kind of circling around you, particularly a Scorpio from the past. That, yeah, they, they, they might lean on you for some sort of emotional support if they're going through a difficult time right now. And I do want to get, I, I am getting this message of something about like, 
you the way you hug them is is very unique or particular and it's something about they miss that physical interaction I want to be clear though it's not really a sexual vibe to me despite it maybe involving a Scorpio right there's something there's um, almost like a parent child dynamic to this and that's what I mean it's 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 it could obviously if it's parent child I'm not saying it's sexual but it's almost more platonic like someone you've decided to be friends with but every now and then you go to hug them and you kind of get those feels those feelings back I think you have moved on from this relationship from the past if any of this makes sense but they have not there's still part of them that is still trying to get your attention and still wants yeah like they still want something from you and it's not bad I, I think they want your warmth and your love and your attention but they may have crossed you or burned a bridge with you in the past and now they're coming back and you're just I, I don't think you're icing them out but you're just like yeah hey good to see you like it, it doesn't mean as much to you as it does to them that's if you if there's someone returning from the past and it might be a Virgo yeah, it's someone who's like realized the error of their way. They went off on some solo journey or maybe they chose someone else. Maybe they left you to be with a Virgo and they came to realize that it wasn't what they wanted. And so again, I think they're circling back because they miss your warmth. It's something about everybody they've tried to be with since you. It doesn't feel right. It's, it's something about the hug, the arms, the way you guys, almost like the way a puzzle piece fits together or something like that or yeah, I don't know. It's something about when, when you two are together, the way it meshes, it just feels right. It's like a lock and a key. It's perfect, to, in their mind anyway. For you, I don't think you're feeling that. If anything, this person may have, may have made you feel suffocated at one point or it just it brought some sort of uh, weight or heaviness in your life and it was almost a relief for, to, to release that burden to no longer have them in your life. And yeah, I mean, I can't necessarily advocate going back to them because it does kind of seem like you, you have other suitors, you have other options. And let's be real, maybe that's what's bringing this person back after all is because they know that other people have their eye on you. So let's look at your person. I don't know which person this is going to be. That's up for you to decide. But nine of swords. All right. <clears throat> a card of, sorry, I'm just going to silence my phone there. Apologies. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nine of swords is sometimes a card of thoughts keeping us up in the middle of the night. So yeah, I think you Aries are, you do have options and it does look like I think you're going to go with a, well, here's the thing. I don't know who this represents. It's one or the other. It particularly an air sign you may end up sleeping with, but while you're sleeping with them, you're actually thinking about your other person. And I do keep wanting to say Scorpio, maybe Sagittarius, maybe, um, And yeah, both of their love readings were very, very complicated. So if, if any of that kind of makes sense to you, I it's like you're not able to enjoy the person you're with because you still have some sort of uh, attachment to someone else. Now, it could be the old person that you connect with, but you're thinking about the new person or vice versa. Uh, you could be with a new person, but in the back of your head, you're like, yeah, but you know, my ex is still like texting me and like... Um, you see, something about your your mind is is clouded. There's a lot of thoughts going on. And this is coming up in your person spread as well, so potentially that may have to do with them, but I keep wanting to kind of deliver this message to you, though. They're, you're, they're, it's complicated. Your person has, in a sense, they feel like they're in a bit of a, a, yeah, a tricky spot, like they can't get you off their mind. Um, and they feel stuck. They almost feel like you've put them in the naughty corner or in metaphor, like put them to j in jail or something like they've you've kind of scolded them again. There's like a parent child dynamic to this where they feel like they have to, you know, crawl back to you on their hands and knees, kind of begging for forgiveness. But I don't think you're going to take them back uh, with the world coming out in reverse. It's like that chapter is closed and done for a lot of you guys. So. I think they already know that and are anticipating it. They sense your, your chilly or your frosty vibes, but they're still trying to like, I just heard like sneak into your DMs. They're still messaging you here and there just to kind of put out a feel like, oh, well, maybe they changed their mind. Maybe they'll talk to me this week or, but it's funny though. I mean, I do think you're going to enjoy the new person or the, maybe multiple people you're with, but there is something that, that every now and then you, you get a flashback to the past and it's, like interfering with your judgment as, as you move forward. 
So then your person's mental plane, they are the nine of pentacles. That's hilarious. Oh my God. Okay. So this is like your energy. That was the first card we pulled. This is what's representing you. What's in your person's mental plane is the nine of pentacles. It's the same card, different decks. This one's a little bit racy. I don't know if I can show you all that, but you are on their mind. Like that's, that's hilarious. But I think, so they fantasize about reconnecting with you. Again, they, they are very attracted to you and the warmth that you provide them. It's all, this person may have grown up without a parental figure or without, uh, I want to say like stable parents or guardians. And subconsciously, I want to be very clear, they don't look at you as their mother or father, but they almost need that like parental love. Like you are very grounded and abundant and, and steady. They need that in, in their life. Um, but again, there, there's this awkward parent child dynamic to it. And I think you, you just want to like not have to be the responsible one anymore. I think you are by default, but yeah, I think you're looking for a new relationship where all the heavy lifting doesn't fall on you. I feel like I get this message for you every time Aries. I'm sorry. It's just, it, it's what's coming through. But, um, this, again, this person also senses that there's, it's more complicated. There's something else in the mix. Um, they sense that you do have other people around you, particularly a, a new air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This also, this person also loves the smell of your perfume or the color of your hair might be particularly, um, I don't know if you recently changed the color of your hair or you dyed it like a crazy color, like blue or green, something about the color of your hair is significant. It, it could, they could have told you like they've only dated redheads or they've only dated brunettes or something about like their type. You fit right in with that. <laughs> so the king of swords and then the moon. So a card of Pisces and again, more air signs. Yeah, this person dreams about you and I want, I was going to say subconsciously for the longest time. They didn't realize that that void in their life, that hole in their life that they were looking to fill, they were doing it with other people, but what was missing the entire time was you. Again, something about like it fit just right. It was a perfect match. It was a, perf a perfect combination, at least the way they saw it. I don't necessarily think that's how you see it. All of a sudden, they, they in their mental plane, right? They do have this epiphany that like, it felt so much better when I was with Aries. But again, they're, they're hesitant to come in. I think they're offering small bits of communication, but what they have to say is actually a very heavy message about you are my dream. Like you, you are, I do think it's very heavy energy. It's like, you are the one that I want to be with. Let's almost like, let's go in on this. Let's make a pact. Let's maybe like, let's commit to this, but with, rightfully so. I think even if that person does come out and say all, everything that they're thinking and feeling, you're going to be guarded at best here. There, there's a lot for you to work through about even considering this person back in your life. Because I think they may have been the one to leave. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to say that. it could have gone either way. You may have broken up with them. All right, let's see where your person is at emotionally. The high priestess. Yeah, so they're, they're being very secretive. They're not currently... Um, for, for most of you, they're not currently being very vocal about how they feel, but they are spying on you. They are watching you. Absolutely. Again, the metaphor of the keys. You have the Hierophant and, um, and the High Priestess. So the, in, in theory, there, there is kind of a divine pairing there. I think emotionally, you guys are still holding on to each other in some capacity. For them, it seems more pure of like, I, I really want Aries. For you, it's like you're holding on to it emotionally more as like a cleanse, like you're trying to get rid of it, exorcise it from your body. <clears throat> they might also be thinking about a cancer or vice versa. That, that could be someone you're thinking about. They might be writing this to you in a note. Rather than expressing it verbally, they may be trying to communicate with you in, in a like nonverbal communication. So writing you a text, you know, maybe they're writing you a handwritten letter, something about, yeah, they're, they're nervous to say it out loud because their voice shakes, but they have a huge, like just well of emotions between them and something about your cat. They miss hanging out with your cat or something about the cat is important. Your, per your new person may have a cat or... Your new person may have a cat that's actually the name of your ex. Like if, if your cat has like a, a human people person name or whatever. 
Like, I don't know, like your cat, you named him Johnny and like Johnny is the name of your ex or do you know what I mean? There's something about the something is significant about the cat that I do want to say it draws you back to the past and your person may actually know about it. And it's like they're banking that something about that trigger makes makes you think about them because that's what they want. They want you thinking about them. But th again, they're very uncertain that, that you're even considering them. Well, Aries, this is a confusing one. So then you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, someone is trying to undo the pain that they caused. Someone I do think is trying to come back from the past. Here it's like the cycle is done, the cycle is closed, but it's almost like digging up old energy. Digging up secrets from the past. I mean, the High Priestess can sometimes stand for secrets. So digging up secrets that maybe were points of contentment. Or is, or is that points of content? I don't know if that's the right phrase. Secrets that, that caused a lot of pain or confusion in this relationship. And ultimately, it's like you guys, you know, close the chapter on it. Someone is trying to, like, reopen the chapter. Here's the thing, though. Um, and then you have the Emperor, too. So that's your card. And then the Page of Hats. Like, you're emptying out the cup. I don't think you're going to take this person back. Most of you. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune coming up, again, intuitively, you know, there's expansion here. So with that... Your, your groups, your networks are going to expand. You may have people uh, from the past reaching out to you, but you also have new people that you haven't even met yet. So if you're like, don't settle, go back. Don't go back to someone from the past just because you feel like it's your only option because it absolutely is not. You have many new offers and, and options coming in. So what action are you taking? Judgment. Yeah, you guys have a lot of the same cards. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, again, I'm getting, I think there's someone new that has piqued your interest and you're more apt to consider them because you could, you see this person as someone you could potentially build a family with or have, have children with. This new person may actually be a single parent and it's like you become the, the, the stepmom or the stepdad, however you want to say it. And you seem extremely content. So while someone from the past may come back and kind of like in metaphor, please don't be freaked out, like knock on your door, like, Hey, remember me, you know, shoot you a text. I think you're willing to look at it and you'll consider it momentarily, but ultimately I think you're going to be like, oh yeah, no, I'm good here. Like I've moved on, but you know, best of luck to you. Like that, that's what this feels like. You're having to make a judgment call on someone from the past, but you've already transitioned your world. You're already welcoming in new people and new blessings. So I don't, I don't think you're going to pay this person any mind. <clears throat> it could be a cancer from the past. <clears throat> And it could be someone who, who had a difficult medical diagnosis, too. And so, again, it, it might pull at your heartstrings. But in terms of the love that you're going to give them, yeah, it's like the cup has been emptied. The page of cups in reverse. I don't think you're, I don't think you're looking at them. You're, uh, yeah, it's like you've ascended. You've, you, you're vibing high and you're no longer accepting, like, bottom dwellers or bottom feeders. Yeah, you have new love coming in and you're so much more excited about it. Two of Cups. Again, a card of Cancer. Cancer may play some role in this. Um, you definitely have a lot of Taurus energy, a lot of Libra energy, um, Virgo, and you have a little bit of Pisces here too. So uh, let me throw some Romance Angels on it. We'll wrap this up. Ooh, guys, bottom of your deck, Ten of Cups. It's Ten of Cups though with the Seven of Pentacles. Assessing. What seeds are going to grow and with whom and who is keeping me trapped? Who is keeping me stuck, right? Go with the option, option that offers you the most growth and emotional abundance. But this is a beautiful card. It's very optimistic, guys. If you're looking for, you know, the full package, marriage and kids and a house and this and that, I don't think you've met this person yet or you may have just started dating them or seeing them socially. I would not return to the past because that, that it just doesn't seem, it seems like it's going to be a dead end is what I'm trying to say. But obviously use your own discernment and judgment, right? <clears throat> All right, so let's see. You have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive uh, the highest energy of all. Sagittarius vibes there. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I think that may have to do with your person. As we said, they may have, may have had like a rough childhood growing up, particularly if it was a Virgo. They may have had an unstable household. And self-care, yeah. Put yourself first. You're the emperor, right? You are the head of the zodiac. You are the ram. Make sure you're looking out for your best interest in this relationship. You don't constantly need to be catering to people who like have mommy or daddy issues, right? And I know that sounds harsh, but I'm just being honest. It's not really your responsibility to heal them. You can offer them kindness and compassion, but they need to like man up or woman up and kind of fight their own battles for a bit. I think that's what they're being forced to do because they're showing up as 
uh, the hermit, like a spiritual path that they're being led down. It's almost like they're thinking that spiritual path is leading them back to you, but it's actually not. You're actually kind of like a, a character they're meeting again along the way, but you, they might course correct after realizing like, oh, like, you know, their world is not accepting new applicants at this time. I guess I'm, I'm off at it again. Whoops, too many cards. Zodiac signs that want to come out in Aries reading. Zodiac signs. Take one more. Zodiac signs that want to come out in Aries reading for Aries. Zodiac signs. Okay, cool. So you have Aries. So you could be dealing with another Aries, but that probably represents you. Cancer. I'm not at all surprised. You had a lot of Cancerian energy. Virgo. Same. You had some, some Hermit energy. And then Capricorn and Gemini are the last two. So... Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini are the signs that wanted to come out. You had a lot of Libra cards too, but I guess those didn't aren't coming out. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if any of this resonates for you, and I will see you very soon for more tarot readings. Bye!